welcome back. So we are going to start making your introduction slide. On the introduction slide will look something like this. So you have four parts to it. The background image, the title, your group number, and the menu bar. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you do is to find an image. If let's say the case study that we're going to do is on water crisis in Cambodia. So you can either take an image from the WR or you can go to a website that allows you to download the photos for free. And it is free of copyright. So I suggest you can use unsplash.com or pexels.com. They provide high quality images which are free, free of copyright and you can use it for your presentations. So I'm going to go to unsplash.com. See, I search for water pollution. Okay, I'm going to scroll down until I find an image that I like. So I like this image. Uh, it has the blue water, it has the fish, and then it has the pollution. So there's this tension between the two. Okay, but the problem with this image is that it is too cluttered. So if you want to put a title, the fishes and the pollution might distract the audience from the title. So everything becomes too cluttered. So I would choose this one instead where there's more empty space here. Okay, you can imagine putting the title here. The audience can then see the pollution, the fish, and also the title. So this is a good image for me to download. So download uh, original size. So this make sure that your image is really big. And when you put it on the Google slide, the image will look good. So insert image. Right, so now we have the image on the slide. The next step is to cover the image across the entire slide. So normally what uh, I see students do is that they will just stretch the image like that. Please do not do this. It's really ugly. You don't see like stretch the fish like that. And plus it doesn't do justice to the photographer. Last but not least, it makes the slide very unprofessional. So what you do instead is you zoom out first 50%, okay? And stretch the image like this. So you click on the corner and stretch it. Okay, and there you go. So obviously there will be some excess, right? That's fine because it gives you more leeway to figure out uh, which part of the image you want to use in the presentation, right? So when you click present, okay, so you can see it covers the entire slide and it's not skewed and you can put the title here. But because the image is large enough, I want to move this image upwards so that I can uh, have more of this empty space here in the frame. So I'm going to move it upwards. Okay, see, so now fish is on top and you can easily put the title here. So wonderful, I'm going to use this instead. If let's say you want to know where the slide starts and where the slide ends, right? Because this image is a bit too big. So what you can do is to crop, select the crop image here, select the top part of the image here and drag it down until it matches the Google slide height. Okay, drag it back in and you're done. So the image, the background image is complete. Next is to add the title. So create a text box and type water crisis in Cambodia. Right, so select the text and I would like you to try uh, fonts which I would like to recommend. Yeah, these are the three, Montserrat, Laura and Railway. Okay, so these fonts are trending in 2020, 2021, uh, very sleek, uh, used by designers a lot and makes your slides look professional. You know, compared to let's say Arial or Calibri or even uh, comic sense do not use comic sense please it makes you look very very unprofessional so i'm gonna use railway font color white and size 50 sorry 40 centralize okay and stretch the text box how do you know that it's in the middle when this red line appears this red vertical line it means that the text is in the center if you move it upwards you will see a horizontal red line. So this means it's really in the center of the slide. And you're done. Some of your titles can be very long, like water crisis in Cambodia. It can be a bit mouthful. So I want to focus on water crisis, right? So I'm going to click enter. In Cambodia, I'm going to reduce the size to 25. Okay, and I want to reduce this gap here between water crisis and in Cambodia. Go to line spacing, custom spacing, 0.7. Uh, I'm going to increase the size here to make the more emphasis on the water crisis. So let's say 55. Yes. And now you have the title, Water Crisis in Cambodia. You can see that there is a link between water crisis and in Cambodia. They are unified by the font. But at the same time, there's more emphasis on water crisis because that is the essence of your presentation. So as a group, you have to decide if your title is really long, 
which is the part of the title that you want to emphasize so you can increase the font size for that particular word or that particular phrase. Right. The next step is to create the group number. Okay, so I'm going to type by YI100. Okay, so same thing, centralize, start to white because the background is dark, so I want to use white so that it stands out. And I, let's say I'm going to use uh, Laura because I've already used Railway, right, for the title. So I need to use a different font to show that the title and the group number, they are two separate entities. So Laura, put it in the middle. Okay, the font size, the size of in Cambodia and by 100, by 100 is a bit the same. So I want to reduce this size here to let's say 11. People will look at in Cambodia first, then they will look at by 100, okay? So you have three parts of the introductory slide already. Let's create the final part. The final part is basically the menu bar. So the menu bar sets the agenda for your presentation. As a group, you have to decide what goes into the menu bar. So for this particular group, they have chosen overview, causes and consequences, existing measures, strategy one, strategy two, and conclusion. So different groups will have different agendas. You have to decide first before you type in the menu bar. Let's create the menu bar. Select shapes, rectangle, and stretch it from one side of the slide to the other. Okay, click format options, size. I suggest 0 0.3. Okay, that's a good height. Okay, now the, as for the color, do not choose black and white because they are very extreme colors. It will draw the attention away from the content in the center of the slide. So I would choose like let's say light grey. Then I'm going to type the agenda into the menu bar. So I'm going to click on the menu bar and I'll start typing. So overview and now we'll use the tab key on the keyboard. Tab. I don't want to do this. I don't want to press space too many times. I'll just use tab twice. Ta -ta. Okay. And then I'll type causes and consequences. Tap tap. Right, so now you have the agenda in the menu bar, so it doesn't fit the box, right? So select everything, control A, right? And then reduce the font size, let's say 10. And then I'm going to use Montserrat, maybe reduce it a little bit more, centralize it. And I'm going to change the black font. So again, don't use black and white for the menu bar. You don't want it to be too distracting. So I'm going to use, like, no, this great. And you're done. So this is the introduction slide. So you have the background image, title, group number, and the menu bar. Easy, right? So now it's your turn. Okay, try this out. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask your teachers. Right, so I'm going to show you what are other ways in which you can design your introduction slide. There's actually more than one way to create the introduction slide. So hope that this will inspire you. Go,